So what's up guys, Shadow Tech here and welcome to episode number 4 of building the new studio office. If by chance you missed the previous segment, I'll leave the playlist links up here. And remember that in the series final there will be a $36 Amazon gift card giveaway. So be sure to stay tuned on the channel to have a chance to win it. In this segment we'll talk about the on theater surround sound system with 10.2 upgrade. I will show you the installation process and I will show you all the tricks you can use to control all your TV system with only one remote and if the 10.2 upgrade is worth it. So when I decided to build the living room setup of the studio I wanted to create something unique with high resolution 4K HDR OLED TV. I used it to preview my videos before uploading on YouTube watch movies and play some video games. But in my opinion image quality is not everything. I am a huge supporter of audio quality as well. So I wanted to create a very immersive audio experience. For that I looked for different solution but my final decision was to buy a 5.1 home theater setup. I got the Yamaha YHT1840. I leave the link in the description. In a separate video, if you want, I'll compare all the available option technologies like a Soundbar 2.1, Dolby Atmos 2.2 and on theater 5.1 and 10.2. So leave a comment if you want to see that. Anyway, the Yamaha WHD 1840 is a 5.1 on theater with 5 times 100 watt channel, 4 HDMI inputs and 1 output. HDR BT 2020 pass through 4K HDR video upscaling. The 4K HDR part is very important for me because I want my setup to be all 4K ready and footproof. And I'm super happy for the final result and I think it is an outstanding improvement over the Dolby Atmos of my OLED TV. But I don't want to spoil anything to you. In the box it comes with a synth amplifier aka AV receiver with 4 satellite speaker, 1 central speaker and 1 subwoofer. Also the remote is included but unfortunately there are no HDMI cables. The only way to hide all the back speaker cables was for me to build a fake ceiling where I added an RGB LED light color. Once it was built, I passed all the cover cables, I used just the standard Amazon cables and the installation process was very simple. But I know what you are all waiting for, you want to know more about the 10.2 upgrade. So first of all, you must know that this is not intended to be a tutorial and I absolutely don't advise you to try this, because it could damage your system if you don't do the math right. So if you do it, you make it at your own risk. So basically what I did was to get 5 more speakers and one subwoofer from another 5.1 system I had broken for a total of 10 speakers and 2 subwoofers and then just connected them to the 6 channels. I won't go into detail with the connection but it's made by the theory of electricity with parallel and series connection. Anyway, I had four more speakers in the front left and right, but on the sides of the TV, adding some coverage to the two speakers placed on the ceiling. Then added one more central speaker and one subwoofer behind the couch. This way we don't have any different channel count on the AV receiver than the 5.1, because the outputs are six in total, but we add more special coverage to the room and a more immersive, in my opinion, sound emission and especially more uniform. Also the maximum power is fixed and for each channel is 100 watts so having more speakers doesn't necessarily mean that according to the number of speakers connected to one channel they will sound louder but there will be more points of audio source creating an immersive audio experience and a much more realistic surround sound. Now I'll try to give you a recording of the same audio clips with a 360 degrees microphone. So tell me in the comments which one you prefer. We'll call them A and B. I will tell you which solution is which only in the end so you can see if you guess it right. And tell me which one you prefer.
here and welcome to the Dream Desk Setup Apple Edition. So what's up guys, Shades of Tech here and welcome to the Dream Desk Setup Apple Edition. Anyway, the first solution was the fine point one and the second was the ten point two. So as you heard the difference is very minimal through the recording, but it's really hard to transfer to you the feelings and especially the surround experience because it's via YouTube, so I have a microphone that records, then editing, uploading, so you'll have to trust me for that. So in conclusion, I prefer very much the 10.2 solution and I found that the speakers, if they are placed at hearing height, are better than on the ceiling. But I have particular needs of audio immersion and I think that for you 5.1 could be enough. Talking about prices, the Yamaha H1840 is around $200-$250 dollars and five speakers and one more subwoofer are around $50 dollars so this is up to you if you want this but in my opinion it's not necessarily another cool feature it's called ARC basically if your TV is enabled you can connect the AV receiver to the ARC HDMI port on your TV and control all the system with only one remote. This is really handy and this means turning on and off TV and home theater together at the same time with only the click of one button on your remote and also change the volume with the TV remote as well. My TV also shows in the input list all the devices connected to the AV receiver. The pass-through feature means that you can connect all the HDMI inputs to the synth amplifier and then go to the TV with only one cable and this helps to keep the setup very clean and minimal and cable managed. I connected my PS4 Pro and my iMac and you can create also scenes turning on and off. The last feature I really love is the AUX channel where I connected the Apple Airport Express to be able to stream music from my Apple devices to the beautiful 10.2 surround sound system. This is really lovely and indeed one of my favorite features. So that's about it, I hope I gave you enough information and experience but if you had any question please leave a comment in the section down below. And so thanks so much for watching, if you liked this video a like will be super appreciated and remember to subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss the next episode with the giveaway info and also the comparison with all the available sound technologies. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!